browsers are our windows to the outside world. We spend our days acting like human routers, hunting, clicking, copying and pasting information from one box to another across tabs and it's a mess. Our browsers are great at showing us the internet, but they leave all the actual work up to us. But what if that could change? What if your browser could do more than just display the information? What if it could understand your goals and act on them for you? This is the promise of a new category of software called agentic AI browsers. The agentic part means it has agency, the ability to act independently. Instead of being a passive window, it's an active partner. Think of it less like a tool and more like a super smart digital intern who you can delegate tasks to. So how does this work in theory? First, it understands your goal. You give it a plain English command like plan a trip for me. A powerful large language model figures out what you actually want to achieve. Second, it sees the web. The AI can read the code and any structure of any web page. It knows what's a button, what's a link, what's a price and where to type. Third, it makes a plan. Based on your goal, the agent breaks the task down into small logical steps. It may think, first, I'll search for flights, then I'll look for hotels, then I'll find reviews. Now, it may try to use any of the tools that it has to achieve its task. These tools could be third-party integrations that may be required to achieve the end objective. So, deciding which tool to use when, it requires this plan. And finally, it takes action. The agent executes the plan by simulating clicks, typing and scrolling across different websites until the job is done. That's the core idea. You provide the goal and the agent figures out the how. Okay, so that's the theory. But what does it look like in the real world? Let's fire up one of the first and most powerful examples of this technology, Perplexity Comet. I'm going to walk you through three everyday use cases to show you just how game-changing this is. Alright, so say you're shopping and you're looking for a new bike. So I have these three pages open on Amazon and I need to decide which one is the best. I'm also looking at what factors to consider when choosing a mountain bike. So this is the landing page for the Comet browser. Instead of me jumping back and forth, I'm just going to ask the Comet Assistant to do the work instead. Watch this. If I just type at, I can choose the websites that are currently open in different tabs. So I could choose all of the open web links to Amazon and the blog. So I could say compare these bike prices for me but also find which one ships the fastest. And there it is in seconds. It pulled the price, reads the shipping information from each page and it synthesized it in into a simple actionable table. The amount of time and mental energy this saves is incredible. Now let's try something more complex like planning a vacation. This would usually take hours. I'm going to give Comet a much bigger task. I will ask it to plan a week-long trip for a family to Italy for the first week of March to look at the flight tickets, hotels and travel itineraries and based on good reviews return the price comparisons. And look at that, what used to be a dozen open tabs uh, and a headache is now a clean, concise report. It did an entire first pass of research to me. I can see what it had searched, where all it went to, review the sources that it pulled the information from, and finally look at the output. Now, based on this research, I could just make the final decision.
and it also provides a nice summary this last one is a game changer for work or personal productivity this browser can connect the dots between the different apps for example I have connected my Gmail with calendar but I could connect any one of these applications so let's look at how that could come in handy I could ask it to look for some tasks on my calendar so I could say what are my tasks for tomorrow and now this would go into my Google Calendar and would extract the tasks or events that exist there so I have a task to review my personal finances so I could also tell it to look for something that I had in my email check my email for a personal finances checklist and give it here now otherwise I would have to go through my mail and search for it manually so here it has extracted the checklist correctly this is the content that was there in my email and it's done it found the right email it understood the content and it was able to maintain the context another cool feature is that you have the ability to create shortcuts so here's a default shortcut teach me comment so these are basically prompts that you could define and save within the browser and access them at any time across tabs So this would generate a very nice guide on how to use Comet effectively. This tells us about the features, the personalized queries that we should try, and some use cases. So we have just seen this cutting edge technology by Perplexity, Comet, but that's not the only one. There is Dia by the browser company, the same one behind the Arc browser. Opera's Neon, which is powered by its ARIA assistant. And many more, which are still under development. You also have AI integrations that already exist. You have Copilot inside Microsoft Edge. And you have the new AI mode, which has come out in Google Chrome. Overall, this new space of agentic AI browsers is something to be looked at and to be ready for. The core idea of the Agentic Browser is the next evolution of how we access and use the internet. We are moving from a tool for finding information to a partner for doing tasks. It's redefining our relationship with the web, making it less about the tedious mechanics of searching and clicking and more about achieving our goals. What's the first task you would hand over to an AI agent like this? Let me know down in the comments below. And if your mind is as blown as mine, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more of the future of AI. Thanks for coming to NIIT. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.